The following short introduction will give you a general overview of the Embraer 190. The Embraer 190 is a low-wing, twin-engine jet airplane of conventional structure designed for medium to short-range operations. The aircraft has a total length of 36.25 meters, 118 feet 11 inches, a wingspan of 28.72 meters, 94 feet 3 inches, and an approximate height of 10.57 meters, 34 feet 8 inches. It also features a pressurized cabin. The fuselage has a so-called double bubble design. The fuselage is pressurized between the forward pressure bulkhead, located forward of the cockpit, and the aft pressure bulkhead, which is located behind the aft electronics bay. Normal pressurization control is automatic, and the conditioned air is provided by two air conditioning packs located in the unpressurized area forward of the wing root. The cockpit can accommodate two crew members in the pilot seats and one observer on the jump seat. Two or optionally three flight attendants and depending on the aircraft configuration, 98 up to 108 passengers can be seated in the cabin. There are two galleys and two toilets, one of each in the front and the aft sections of the cabin. The cabin also features a wardrobe built next to the front passenger entrance two passenger doors on the left and two service doors on the right hand side of the aircraft provide passenger and service access. An optional passenger air stair on the forward passenger door allows independent boarding. There are two cargo compartments below the passenger cabin, one in front and one behind the wing fairing. Two wing-mounted CF-34 10E high-bypass turbofan engines are installed on the Embraer 190. Engine controls and fuel scheduling are provided by a full-authority digital electronic control, FADEC, with fully modular design. The CF-34 10E incorporates the aerodynamic efficiency of wide-cord fan, which produces most of the engine's 18,500 pounds maximum thrust. To enhance aircraft braking capability, the engines are able to reverse thrust. The Embraer 190 is designed to operate from short runways and has a certified ceiling of 41,000 feet. The Embraer 190 has a maximum cruising speed of Mach 0.82. Depending on the long or normal, it can reach destinations upwards of 1,800 nautical miles with standard reserves. To maximize performance, a variety of modern composites like fiberglass and carbon have been used. These materials are lighter in weight and more durable than conventional aluminum, improving aircraft performance. Besides the conventional flight controls, the aircraft is equipped with an adjustable stabilizer and multifunctional spoilers. Aerodynamic characteristics are enhanced by leading edge slats and ground spoilers. The aircraft has a forward retracting twin-wheel nose landing gear. The nose landing gear has a normal steering angle of up to 76 degrees either way. The shock absorbers are of oleo-pneumatic type. The steering motor, taxi light, and one landing light are mounted on the nose landing gear. When the nose landing gear is extended, the rear doors remain open while the front doors reclose after extension or retraction. The main landing gears also have oleo-pneumatic shock absorbers and twin wheels and retract sideways. With a full deflection of the nose wheel, the aircraft can theoretically turn on taxiways as narrow as 22 meters, 71 feet. Note that the largest clearance is required by the tail, which is not visible. In a maximum turn, either the left or the right main landing gear remains stationary, marking the center of the turn. The general cockpit interior of the ERJ-170 provides an ergonomic working space for two pilots, one observer, and also storage of working and emergency equipment. The cockpit is configured as follows. Two pilot seats. 
a foldable flight observer seat positioned just in front of the cockpit door. When not in use, this seat stows behind the pilot seat. A cockpit bulkhead with a lockable door. Two control columns and rudder pedals. Crew emergency exits on direct vision window on each side of the cockpit. A main instrument panel protected by a glare shield. Control pedestal located between the two pilot seats. Overhead panel located in the center of the ceiling panels. Lateral consoles located beside each pilot seat. Aft right-hand lateral console, also called observer console. The pilot seats are part of the cockpit equipment. The seats provide accommodation to pilot and co-pilot during normal and emergency operations without increasing workload. Each seat is attached on two seat tracks which allow them to be adjusted fore and aft. A lateral outboard displacement allows each seat to be stowed while it is located at the rear seat track stop level. This position allows easy entry of the pilot or co-pilot without stepping over the central pedestal. A vertical seat adjustment allows the pilot or co-pilot to properly adjust their eyes to the cockpit environment. The height adjustment of the seat is made by means of the electrical actuator, which is operated by a control switch on the seat. Mechanical backup, a crank, for height adjustment is provided in case the electrical system is not available. The seats are identical in their design and operation, differing only in the symmetrical arrangement of the controls. The seats have longitudinal lateral adjustment lever with mechanical operation. Control switch for electrical actuation of the seat height adjustment with mechanical backup. Control for backrest declining with hydromechanical operation. Adjustable armrests and headrest with mechanical operation. Handle for the thigh rest support adjustment with mechanical operation. Push button actuator for lumbar support, which actuates a foam bag with air in it, allowing many different adjustments. Handle for harness inertial device manual locking. A restraint system is attached to the seat structure. The safety belts are a five point harness with one point quick release buckle. There is an inertia reel for the torso restraint system and a provision is made for life vest stowage on the seat back. Also capable of carrying a fire glove, optional, for emergency equipment support. The seats must be adjusted to suit the pilot's optimum viewing position. To accomplish this, the seat has to be moved up or down until the pilot's line of sight reaches the horizontal plane of the black and white factory adjusted ball indicators. When the horizontal plane of the ball indicators is reached, the seat must be moved fore or aft until the white ball indicator becomes aligned to the black ball indicator. Once the optimum seat position is found, the pedals can then be adjusted through the pedal adjustment switch. The crew emergency windows are located in the cockpit on the left and right hand sides. When closed, they are pushed against the window frame by an over center mechanism and held in position by a locking mechanism. The windows are open manually. They have a locking mechanism that is released by pressing the button located on the top of the handle. As the window is unlocked, the handle must be pulled backward in order to actuate the roller's latching mechanism, sliding the window inside and backward along the tracks. The red indicator is pulled out of its housing to indicate the window is not fully closed. A position lock system permits the window to stop in an intermediate position. 
and does not allow closure unless the lever lock is moved into the close window position. In an emergency, when leaving the aircraft by the doors is impossible, the crew can open the windows and exit by two ropes which are stowed above the windows.